Today I want to talk about origin. This idea, this concept began coming to me a few years ago when I was with the Mamos. So the Mamos, there's actually three different tribes. Probably the, the most uh, familiar is the Kogi. And the Mamos are native to the Sierra Nevada. They sit atop the mountaintop in Colombia. And I ended up sitting with them, staying with them, journeying with them for 15 days. I mean, there's there's so many things that are so incredible about, about these people. You know, the, the story goes that they spend essentially the first seven to 12 years of their lives in complete darkness, just connecting with the planet. And so they were sharing with us the story of creation. They were sharing with us the lost language that they've been entrusted with keeping alive. They were sharing with us the ancient sites that are all over the planet. I have friends that have continued to study with them and as an example they have said that they when they go outside and they hear a stream or they're there by water they don't hear water they hear singing. When they're near trees they hear whispers and so I imagine with the greatest of intention with with really blocking out our senses and pulling ourselves back from all of the distractions I imagine that we can redevelop that we can relearn that we can remember that level of connection with the planets and with ourselves and so it was such a such a beautiful powerful experience for me and I remember we visited one of the ancient sites and so the 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 Mamos there was Mamo Fernando and Mamo Tia a, a much bigger bigger guy he actually wouldn't say too too much but he would he would just walk the grounds he would walk the earth and just listen and just by tuning in and listening they were they discovered this this ancient site and this site was this huge rock in the middle of the Costa Rican rainforest and we we went to it there were there were serpents there were um, planets there was a footprint there were spirals there were depictions of fish and turtles they shared with us that is the story of creation and for me it was it was such a full circle moment because I remember as a young boy just wondering, just asking, you know, where, where's the truth? Where, like, if what I'm perceiving through my senses, if what I'm being taught in school, if that is the truth, then why do I feel like this? Why do I have this anxiety? Why do I have this, this discomfort in my own body? Why am I constantly seeking approval from the external world? And, you know, that was my journey and, and you know, I, I didn't know that that's what I was doing at 13, 14 years old, but that was when I was starting to question, like, what is this? Who am I? Why do I feel like this? And so that was such a full circle moment for me with the Mamos when I remember it as a boy just asking, where is the truth? What is the truth? And that story of creation on that huge rock was the ultimate truth you know and so during my time with them i started having this information come through about creating a map a map back to the origin a map back to the origin of ourselves right and, and what that means is you know i honestly don't believe and i don't imagine that we are who we think we are meaning I'm not Lee. I'm not this physical meat suit walking around, you know, thinking that I'm the persona of Lee. That's my personality. That's that's who I've grown up to think I am, right? Based on school and parents and how I fit into roles in society and society and all kinds of things. And perhaps, or not, I have taken on beliefs or personality structures or habits 
that are not fully loving to me, that are not fully serving to my highest self, that are not of love, and that are not for the greatest good of my health, myself, my mind, you know, my, my family, those surrounding me, so on and so forth. So this map back to the origin essentially is a, is a, a continuum, a self-assessment opportunity for you to assess where are you on this continuum from fear to love? Where are you on the continuum from disease to health, from sadness to happiness, from disconnection to connection, from difficulty and obstacle to ease and flow, ease and grace. Origin, the ecosystem, the community is an invitation for each of you to really ask yourself, where are you on that continuum? And it's not to say that, you know, there's a better than or less than or a right or a wrong, but just to say, if you wish you could feel a little more love or have a little more energy or feel a little more fulfilled or be a little more connected to yourself and your loved ones, right? Or have a little more uh, peace of mind or deal with less stress. If, if you're anywhere on that continuum and you're kind of on the other side where you're, you're feeling stuck or you're feeling like you're not enough or you're feeling like you wish life had more to give you, the imitation at origin is that it does. To trust in yourself, to have faith and to begin to remember that you can have, do, and be so much more. That you really can experience more love, more connection, more wholeness, more energy, more happiness, more abundance. No matter where you are in your life, no matter what you are going through, no matter how stuck you maybe think you are, or you know if, if you've been in any kind of self-sacrifice because you're working at a job maybe that you don't like to provide for your family and maybe you're sacrificing your health or maybe you're sacrificing your connection with your family because you're always at work or you're always on the road or you're always chasing that thing and you feel maybe a little bit dismayed or a little bit unhappy or a little bit disconnected. I'm here to share with you that there is always more. There's always more love, more wholeness, more happiness, more healing, more wealth, more money, more energy that we can have. And so my invitation to you is to check out some of the beautiful, beautiful opportunities and invitations we have. We've got master classes. I've actually got a free master class that you can come to. There's a there's a workbook. We talk about breath work. We talk about you know the, the difference between the quantum and Newtonian model of reality. We talk about neurophysiology and the science of change or the, the neuroscience of changing your mind, um, changing your neurology. We've also got the Breathwork Deep Dive. I'm doing about a 12 hour course and I talk about all of the neurophysiological benefits of the breath. We go into a practice session. I go into um, three breathing sessions after we practice. So you, you essentially get four breathing sessions. We do a, a, a multitude of uh, meditations as well. Um, and then we've got the sacred self. The sacred self is a six month self mastery that talks about the, essentially the freedom method, right? So the five steps of the freedom method, which is opening to the possibility, opening to the idea. There's always an opportunity to create new potential, a new identity for yourself. And then step two is to align or activate the mind, body, spirit aspects of who you truly are. Step three is that you really begin to operate from that new cognitive, emotional, and physical aspect of the new you that you started to tune into, that you started to open up to. And step four is radical responsibility. So radical self-responsibility is taking responsibility for all of our own thoughts, feelings, and actions. And then step five is aligning to and operating from the higher laws, the law of co correspondence as above, so below, as below, so above, as within, so without, right? Or the law of cause and effect, 
or the law of polarity. These laws are happening in our lives anyways, but very few of us are tuning into them and seeing how we can align with and work with them day in and day out, right? So that's the five step of the freedom process, right? And through that, through essentially steps four and five, we're gonna be talking a lot about freedom. We're gonna be talking a lot about the difference between law and legal and expressing our own laws and setting up our no tres trespassing signs, right? So that is a six month journey and it's one of the most powerful journeys that you can go on. It's the journey I've been on in my life and I'm still on and I'm still learning every single day, whether it's about my emotions or how to control myself or about the difference between law and legal or how to actually set up protective structures so that I remove myself from the legal jurisdiction and that of governments and tax collection agencies and so on and so forth, right? So that's, that. we've got our affiliate network, which we're building out and we've got uh, a, a number of incredible friends, colleagues, speakers that are from all over the world. They've got their own systems, their own coaching, their own programs, so you can connect with them. We've also got lots of inspirational stuff from poetry and documentaries. We've got, uh, you know, the, just a beautiful ecosystem and a beautiful community that we're going to be continuing to add to. I can't wait to see you.